You guys, it is time for you to take an active stance in your own life and start to create your own rules. So the funny thing is in life, we so often are following a set of rules that don't even belong to us. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about that and really challenge you guys to start thinking about what your rules are and to actually set some new ones for yourself that may actually help you to create the life of your dreams. What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. I am a life coach and law of attraction teacher and you have found my YouTube channel where I upload two, two new videos for you guys each and every week all about the art of creating your best life ever. So you know what to do if you want to be part of this beautiful journey of transformation and expansion. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when new videos go live. Even if you're not a rule kind of person, I guarantee you guys that there are some rules you are following right now in your life that you think are helping you that actually aren't helping you at all. So we are so funny in when it comes to creating our life, when it comes to transforming and expanding. Um, I will ask people, you know, why haven't you been able to do the thing that you want to do yet? And they will come up with reasons. And a lot of these reasons are valid reasons in their brain, of course. But in reality, they're actually not true at all. Some of these things are like, I can't find love until I lose 20 pounds, or I can't get the job that I want, or I can't do the thing I want until I get this piece of education or work with this person, or I can't, you know, launch my business until, you know, someone tells me that I can. Like, you know, there's all these crazy, crazy rules that we create for ourselves all the time that do not need to exist. So I want to challenge you guys today to think about your own rules for life. Think about the stories you're telling yourselves and think about how you might just be getting in your own way. So we don't have to lose weight to find love. We do not have to have education to get the job. We do not have to work with a certain person in order to launch the business. We do not have to do any of these things. All of these things that you've convinced yourself of are usually just excuses, right? They are a way for you to not stand up and do the work. They are a way for you to play small. And that's where it gets tricky because we love to play small. We don't think we're playing small. We think that everything is logical. We think that our reasons are sound. We think that everything is just as it should be and it's not our fault at all. But actually, all of those beliefs are your choice and you can just as easily choose something else instead. So I'm gonna challenge you guys again to think about this as you go through your week. Think about your stories, think about the things you're telling yourself, think about your excuses, and really challenge yourself to see if these things are real, if they are true, if they are worth following or not, because I'm gonna guarantee you most of the time they're not worth following at all. Most of the time, they are keeping you small and safe and if you really want to break out of your rut, if you want to break into the next level of expansion in your life, you need to get out of your comfort zone. There's no way you can be comfortable at home on the sofa and not do anything new and create a new life, you guys. You have to push yourself out of the nest at some point. That's just the way it is. So I want you guys to think about that. I want you to challenge your thinking. I want you to be conscious of what you're thinking. But let's have some fun with this while we do this as well. And let's start to write ourselves some new rules for the way we want our life to be. So once you start to play with your new rules, you can see really how powerful rules are. And that will help you understand how the rules that you've written in the past aren't really helping you. So I would like you guys to write maybe three new rules for yourself this week and make them really fun. Make them feel really good. Make them you know, something that will benefit you in the long run, okay? So maybe your rule is, and this is a new rule I've been working on writing for myself recently, is that I always have enough time to do everything because I personally have been very much a hustle, rush, always busy kind of person. And I'm now trying to play with the energy of I have more than enough time to get everything done. Everything is happening. I don't have to rush around. I don't have to feel stressed about time. That's a new rule that I'm writing for myself. And maybe you guys want to play around with that rule as well. 
Another rule that I have recently in the last like few months have taken on is that I always make more money than I spend. So it doesn't matter what bills are coming in, it doesn't matter what's coming up in my life because there's always gonna be more. I will make more money if I spend more money. Like money is just energy at the end of the day, right? But my belief is what creates the reality. And if I go through like believing in that, then that's what actually starts to happen for me. And like, why wouldn't you wanna believe in having more than enough money? So that's a belief you can choose. Another belief you can choose, another rule you can write for yourself is that eating healthy is effortless or working out is really fun or that I meet new amazing people all the time. Like you can choose literally any rule, you guys. So I want you to have fun with this. I want you to think about what your life is missing and what kind of rules you could write for yourself right now that will help you to actually have the life you want, be the kind of person you wanna be, and show up in the world in a new way. Like, again, every belief is a choice. You think your beliefs are the right ones because you've been holding on to them your whole entire life. But let me just remind you that your past thoughts and your past feelings and your past actions are what has created your results right now. And if you want to create new results, then you gotta start on the inside and changing up those beliefs those feelings and those actions. And that's where rules really shine their powerful energy. Also, creating a rule is also about deciding. And deciding is the most powerful energy in the universe. And it is the number one thing when it comes to manifesting. If people haven't decided that they want something, then they're not manifesting, right? So rules are about deciding. Once you decide something is gonna be true in your life, you're deciding, you're committing to it and you are going to start seeing evidence for that belief everywhere you go. So rules are meant to be broken until they're not meant to be broken. But I would really suggest you guys as conscious creators of your own reality to think about your own rules and to have some fun with it and write yourself some rules for something amazing to happen to you. Because if you're gonna commit to a rule, you might as well make it to an amazing rule, right? You might as well make it to a fun rule. Who wouldn't want to have more time or more money or more friends or whatever so think about that think about what's missing in your life and write a few rules like i said three rules for yourself this week that will support who you want to be where you want to go and the life you want to have that was it for today thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it today if you liked this please give it a like and if you know a friend that could use this message please do me a huge huge favor and pass this along to them I would love, love, love your help in growing this community. If you want to learn more about me, come on over to the site. I have a free fear busting workbook for you guys to download over there. It is amazing and it will really help you get clarity on whatever's holding you back in life right now. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll be back here soon in the next one. So until then, I'm wishing you an amazing week and as always, just remember, get ready for the miracle. See you guys.